Hey, I'm Alex Maselli, and I'm here for my minute. Yes, Maselli's minute from the Humana Challenge. And it was a challenge at the end, the final round. Boy, we had all that win yesterday and Saturday, and now what do we get? We had guys playing over 20, up to 27 holes today, and Mark Wilson, the diminutive Mark Wilson, wins this event. It's his fifth win on the PGA Tour. He won too early last year, if you remember, in Sony, and then turned around in Phoenix. Not bad. You're thinking Ryder Cup, a lot of good things. No. Played horrible the rest of the year. Finished 22nd in the FedEx Cup race. Never was a discussion for the Ryder Cup team. So now here he is, Mark Wilson, winning again. Third time now in two years. He's got an exemption till I don't know, 2015. But most importantly, Mark Wilson is back in the winner's circle, someplace he dreadfully wanted to be after how he was playing last year. He was hoping he could make it three and four, which he really wanted to do very well last year. It didn't happen. He thinks now what he'll have to do is kind of take some time off in between the season to kind of replicate how he feels coming in the beginning of the season like he did last year when he won two and like he won this year and what he felt this year coming in to win one. How did he do it? Well, let me look at this. It's kind of bizarre, really. No driving distance, 69th in the, 69th in the championship, but T18th in driving accuracy, kept the ball in play, T3 in greens regulation, and the most important thing is strokes gained putting. He was fourth. That combination was a win for Mark Wilson, two shots over a bunch of guys, Robert Garrigus, uh, Mallinger, and most importantly, Johnson Wagner. What's Johnson Wagner doing? Three top tens in a row to open the season. Both Wilson and Wagner are taking the, day, the week off. They will not be in San Diego, but they'll be in Phoenix, and so will I. I'll see you next week in San Diego.